Kia ora Fire family, it's your boy Geordie from the band Catch a Fire. My name is Logan Bell, I'm from the band Catch a Fire. The band is from all four corners of New Zealand. We're all of Māori descent, the native people of New Zealand. Catch a Fire sound is what we call Pacific reggae, our version of reggae music. We incorporate our cultural harmonies, we talk about the messages and the struggles that happened in our country. It's got its own movement here and it's standing up next to your Jamaican reggae and your Californian reggae and your European reggae. And that encompasses from Hawaii all the way back across to Guam and everywhere in, in the Pacific. We're really lifting the standard on uh, Polynesian music. We're kind of like the big brother band that everybody looks up to now. Catch a Fire sort of opened up the way for, uh, for this huge reggae revival from kind of all four corners of New Zealand. Our first album, there wasn't any reggae being played on radio and our first album smashed all those stereotypes down and showed this big huge hole in the market for reggae music. So we just dropped our fifth studio album. It's called Legacy. We recorded it all around the world. Jamaica, Australia, Hawaii, and the mainland. It's definitely got all of our classic catch a fire sound, but we definitely have another side of the album that's kind of a new school approach. We've got a few more kind of skills in the studio now, so we can call on that knowledge and come up with some different styles. It's definitely, tempos are up, tempos are faster. I think it's just our influences really all, that, that bring our sound together and make it as what it is, you know. We love a little bit of jazz, we love blues, we love funk, soul, you know, anything that kind of moves you. The big thing we really emphasised on from early was harmony and melody by adding three or four part male harmonies. A lot of the early kind of culture groups, they didn't have mics, so they had to project their voices. You see a lot of the male singers coming out of New Zealand modeling on that. It's also about perpetuating positive messages, you know, so that's part of the mission as well, to spread love through the world, spread the message, and revive reggae music where it needs to be. Our fans, the best fans in the world. The fans are like the most important thing. We certainly are grateful. I think our first fan base in the States was here for sure, in Hawaii. You can look to me if you get lost up on your way. Hawaii is like our second home. We feel like Ohana here. We also feel a connection because we can link culturally as well. We all come off the same waka and some of us jumped off at different islands and the waka carried on down to New Zealand, got down there and saw the icebergs and whoa, turn around and come back to Hawaii and drop some people off back here. And, you know, we're all, we're all ohana. We feel like they've been like champions for our music here in uh, not just Hawaii, but the States, the mainland as well. The sky's the limit. We're going to take our product to wherever we can. On the moon, if, if there's a a reggae moon festival, we're in there, call us up. We thank you guys, we salute you guys. Thank you guys for always holding it down for us and keep the fire burning. Every little thing will fall into place